Good day ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to Shito's Mathematics Coaching Program. I urge every one of you to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell as a subscribe button in order to get the notifications anytime I drop my videos. So by the special grace of God today we are going to look at another aspect of what of logarithm of numbers. The second aspect of logarithm of number. So today we are going to look at how we can change equations in index form to logarithm form and at the same time how we can change I mean vice, vice versa so now what are we going to do here so that's what we are going to be looking at so far from the last video I dropped so we made mention to us the laws of logarithms that we have and we could be able to, to do little things and how we can what how we can use them how we can use the laws to solve some little little problems so now today so this is what we are going if a is about n equal to 10 then in logarithmic form it will be log n base a equals to x can you see that so now from the definition of what of logarithm so that's how we derive this so now if you have anything in form of indices like this, understand it is what it is written in form of logarithm as what as this. So you can see. So now if you are not giving any form, because this one is just like or just like general expression of changing an indices form of our equation to what to logarithm form of equation. So now let's say let me clear up or let me clear look at one example and two so that you'll be able to see what i'm trying to say so now you say we have change it said change 81 equals to 3 raised to the power 4 to log reading form so now to change this one to log reading form what are you going to do you we look at these two expressions very well, I mean these two equations very well, the one that is in form of indices and the one that is in form of logarithm. So you now look at which one is what this one is comparable and which one you can compare this particular equation with out of this one, out of these two equations. You can see that is, this is in form of what this is in form of indices form now. So now definitely you try to compare these towards to the general form of index form, which is this. Therefore, now comparing this and this one, you can see that our a, a is what is 3 here, our n is what, n is what, 81, and what, and uh, x equals to what, equals to 4, and s equals to 4, and s equals to 4, which is the power here. So now, you have all this, and if you are to look at the logarithm form here, you see that all these things that we have here, a, n, and x, are all what are all contains in this equation of logarithm. So now the only thing you are going to do is just to put all these values into this equation. Then you have your you have your uh, you have your yeah, you have your logarithm form. So then or uh, hence and it's one equals to three to the power four implies implies log what is your n we have our n to be what to be eighty one what is our what is our base that is a a is three equals to s is what is four that is how it is what it is done that is how it is done you can see very simple that's how if you are changing from logarithm also that's what you follow the same pattern there's nothing there's nothing there there's nothing new here it is very very simple if actually you understand the way we solve the first one so now that's how it is done so now let's say we have to change from logarithm form to indices form. So how are we going to do? So let me give you one example. So to portray my point. So that's how it is done. So let me say, let's say we have another thing. So say we have this. 
behind this change change log of 125 base 5 equals to 3 to index 4 to index 4 understand so what are you going to do we are still comparing we are still going to compare this given equations to any to these two equations so we now look at the general equations we have up here which one is comparable which one you can compare this particular equation given to you understand you can which one you can compare it with you can see that this one is what is having log definitely it can be compared with this what with this log gradient equation so now what's the next thing to do is just to compare so according to this one now you can see from here you can see if you have to compare this you see that a equals to 5 n equals to what 125 and what and x that is this one equals to what equals to 3 so now to take this logarithm equation to what to index form what are you going to do just come to this equation you have what then log log of 125 base 5 equals to 3 implies that because we want to write this one in what we want to write this one in index form so we now come to this and we've already what we've already known our a n out and x so what the next thing to do you come to this side what is your a our a is 5 what is what what is x x is 3 and what is what? What is n? n is what? n is 125. Can you see? This is how we solve it and this is how it is being done. So we can see it is very very simple. Man, this is simple. So once you understand the, what they call the basic, when your understanding is acquired, so I don't think you should have any problem here. So now this is where we are going to stop today because that's what we are going, that's what we are going to do for today and that's our topic today because I want us to be more fitted in this world, to be more fit in this in this uh, situation. Understand? So I as time goes on we we'll try to look maybe in our next video. So we we'll try to look at how we can solve problems in logarithm that is there are some logarithms that you solve that will lead to linear equations, some will also lead to quadratic equation, and some will lead to uh, simultaneous linear equation. So that's what we are going to look at in my next video that will be dropping. So now, so we have to stop here. And if you have any questions to ask pertaining to what we have done so far, be it from the from the videos or from the lessons that I've given so far, from our uh, previous ones so you are you are welcome to ask any question you want and if it is this one also you are free to ask any question so just kindly click on the comment box and help and ask your question so i am here to i'm available to answer your questions so this is where we are going to stop today and at the end of today please don't just go like that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to click on that subscribe adding on that bell at the subscription button in order to get the notifications anytime I drop my videos. So have a wonderful day. I remain myself. Shit.